Hey everybody, God bless you. Pastor Benny here. With in spirit and in truth coming at you live here. We're having a little difficult with our intro, but we'll get it together. Amen. It's so good to see you. Amen. And I just wanted to play some music and uh, encourage you, my brothers and sisters, as we hear, amen, sharing the gospel, nothing but the truth. Amen. And knowing that we can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. Right, Natasha? Amen. Again, I thank you. It's Friday night, and we here, amen, and we just uh, asking the Lord to bless you and your family, amen, and those watching me live. I'm trying to delete something, and it's not letting me. I don't know why, but God is in control. I see that some of you can see me, amen. Um, just got to do a little correction here on my phone, amen, and I'm just so grateful again to be here tonight. And again, continue to pray for us here at Love Wings Ministry. We're trying to do the best we can, amen, and we invite those to come out and be a part of Love Wings Ministry. My wife's going to put the address up now, amen, and we ask you to come Sunday, amen. We're having our service, amen, and uh, we have what is called in spirit and in truth on Friday nights, which is tonight, and also on Tuesday, we have breaking love news, amen. And then also tomorrow, amen, I'm glad to say we're going to have women at the round table, amen, here out of our studios. And we want you to be a part of it. And if you're watching, please send us comments so we know that you're watching. Right, Natasha? We want to be able to acknowledge you and also knowing that we're coming uh, across to you. Amen. I see it there. Amen. I just got to change it from friends to... Uh, everyone can see our videos, amen, and uh, we continue to do that what God has called us here at Love Wings Ministry, amen, and amen, and amen, and also I want to give a shout out to Carmen Ebanks, amen, who was just on the phone with an elder from Full Gospel Tabernacle in Queens, Far Rockway, New York, our home church, amen, and God is so good, right now we can give thanks to the Lord for we know that in him we all have peace but before I start I just want to pray she's going to take the address off now amen father I thank you for this opportunity Lord that I could come tonight another Friday night that you've given us here at Love Wings Ministry Studios to be able to stir the spirit of my sisters and brothers out there and invite them out to come out and to share their testimonies my God those that know us amen and to do what you call us all to do, to share the gospel, nothing but the gospel, the truth that continues to set me free and continues to set them free, Lord. And we want to grow in you. We want a spiritual growth, Lord. And I ask you even tonight, Lord, that what I say tonight that would encourage my brothers and sisters and stir their spirit and tune their ears to know that God is in control of all things. Amen and amen and amen. I want to talk about tonight a little bit. I was talking about, and I'll, we've been giving classes on Wednesday night, and we were talking about uh, spiritual growth. I want to grow more in the Lord, and I want more of the Lord. And we know that the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, and I'm reading out of the English Standard Version Bible, it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Amen shall be satisfied and that's the question are you satisfied in your walk amen with the lord you know god wants us to have an exciting life a good life amen and i can say man that here i i love everything that we do and every day that we do more and more seeking after uh, the things of god what happens we become spiritually growing and god wants us to grow god wants us to fill us and and what and he as he fill us i got a little chunk tied there we're to give out what he gives us amen and i'm always saying that here that we're a vessel and he wants to fill you up yes my sister you and my brother out there and let us not be afraid but to share the gospel amen also ephesians 4 verse 15 says that an english standard version this is rather speaking the truth what in love and we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into what? Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. You know, assembling ourselves together, 
with the church should be our number one priority because you are the church and I am the church. What does that mean? That means that we're to fellowship, to join together. Amen. I see so many people going here and there, right, Natasha? And, you know, in order to grow, you got to be planted. I've said that so many times. I'm going to continue to say that. And God wants to fill you, but he wants you to stay still, too. <laughs> Amen. So, again, I come to encourage everybody. But remember, we have to get in that habit of assembling ourselves in the house of God and in the church, which the church to me defines as brothers and sisters. Amen. I see someone's there. Please, I see two people, but I don't see who they are. Send a comment so we know who you are. Do you see their names on there, Natasha? No? Oh, okay. Send a comment so we know that you're out there. Amen. Even if you say hi or God bless you. Amen. Uh, encourage, encourage me as I encourage you. Amen. But remember again, let's assemble ourselves together. Amen. And yes, we have to do that. God has ordained that we come together. That is, that is to be connected with another person. And that's how we grow. We learn from each other. I always learn from a lot of people that come here and love wings. And that's what, you know, that's the thing. I don't want to have a big head, amen. I want to have a big heart to be able to receive everything that God has. And God works through people, amen. He did it back in the day and he's still doing it today, my brothers and sisters. If we are to reach, if we are to reach our 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 goals, amen, the number one goals that we should put first is having God as the center of everything that we do. That's why I'm here tonight, you know, encouraging and building people up and letting them know how much God loves you. Remember that uh, as we learn and what we function in every area in the body of Christ, and I want to talk about Romans chapter 12, verses 3 to 8, and it says, Because God has given me a special gift, I have something to say to everyone. And I'm reading this out of the New Century Version. I'm sorry, I'm reading this out of the New Century Version Bible. And it says, Because God has given me a special gift, I have something to say to every everyone among you. Do not think that you're better than you are. You must decide what you really are and by the amount of faith that God has given you. Verse 4, each of us have a body with many members and these parts are, have, are, have, are and have different use. Verse 5, in the, in, in the Christ we are all one body. Each one is part of that body. And each part belongs to all the others. Amen. Verse 6. We all have different gifts and each of which came because of the grace of God gives us. Amen. The person who has a gift of prophecy should use that gift in agreement with what? With the faith. Amen. And verse 7, anyone who has the gift of teaching should teach. I want to stop there in that verse for a minute because, you know, we have Wednesday night Bible study and prayer. And at 7 p.m. here at Love Wings Ministry, and I'm pretty sure not only me and not a lot of other ministries out there are doing the same thing. And, you know... Um, it would be nice if everybody would participate as they do on Sunday. I know it's our Sabbath on Sunday, or, or maybe your Sabbath is on Saturday, but whatever it is, you know, uh, Wednesdays have been a place that we have set aside to learn the Word of God, to learn to grow, and to get questions asked, answered. rather. And it's so important, so I want to encourage people to Go to Bible study, man. Go out and learn more. That's what we call seeking righteousness, amen, and growing. I remember back in New York, full gospel, they didn't have to tell us twice. We were there and uh, for every service that they had and every class that they had. And uh, we had a church, church foundations, uh, 
Uh, we also had uh, music, uh, teaching on what is worship, and so many classes, amen. And it's good to grow because that's how we grow spiritually. And me and my wife have all this knowledge that God has given us through Full Gospel Tabernacle. And we want to share it with you all. So it's important that you come out. I want to stress that out to any place that you belong to. Go out to those Bible studies and teaching and prayer meeting. Because God said his house should be called, and Jesus said rather, his house should be called a house of prayer. Amen. And of learning and getting wisdom and growing. And that's what I'm talking about. And even as it says in the New Century Bible verse Romans 12, and I'm down to verse, uh, what was that, Natasha? Verse 7, it says, anyone who has a gift of teaching should teach. And that's what I'm trying to do. Amen. And verse 8 says, whatever, whatever, whatever have the gift of encouragement, others should encourage. And that's what I'm doing here. And whoever has the gift of giving to others should give freely. Amen. And anyone who has the gift of being a leader should try harder when he leads. Whoever has the gift of showing mercy to others should do it, do so with what? With joy. Amen. So again, I want to repeat that because uh, those that are out there, remember this verse, 12 verses 3 and 8, and, and it's something that I share with others. So, man, you know, the, the house of God should be filled. Amen. A place where we gather together and minister. And I want to encourage that because, you know, or even doing this work, it's sharing your testimony, which is our greatest thing. So I'm here to encourage you. I'm following what the Word says. And, and, and when you do that, you start growing more spiritually, more stronger. Because God will pour more into you. Because why? Please ask me why, Natasha. Because you're following the directions. Amen. And I want to stress that out again. I'm going to read it one more time. Romans chapter 12, verse 3 and 8. Through three through through 8. Amen. Uh, the, the New Century Bible. Because God has given me a special gift. I have something to say to everyone among you. Do not think that you are better than you are. You must decide what you really are by the amount of faith God has given you. Verse 4. Each one of, each one of us has a body with many parts, and all these parts have different use. Verse 5. In the same way, we are many, but in Christ we are all one. Remember that. Each one is a part of the body, and each part belongs to all the other parts. Amen. That's about unity. Amen. Verse 6. We have become... We... I'm sorry. Verse... Where am I? Verse 6. We all have different gifts from which came because of the grace of God. God gave us... Amen. The person has the gift of prophecy should use that gift of prophecy in agreement with what? The faith. Verse 7. If anyone has the gift of teaching should teach. Verse 8. Wherever, whoever rather, has the gift of encouraging others should encourage. Whoever has the gift of giving to others should give. Give, my sisters and brothers, freely. Amen. And anyone who has the gift of being a leader should lead. And try harder when he leads. And whoever has the gift of showing mercy to others should do this so with joy. Amen. So we are given, what? An opportunity to be of service to one another. Amen. Amen. The habit of going to church is the essence if we are going to be be to be of much use what to the Lord. Amen. And church otherwise we cannot be contained by uh uh I mean we have to continue rather to to be what? Wise in the word. And this and the, what is how do we get wise? How do we grow? 
simply follow the word of God. Amen. Practicing in the work of the church, participating and practicing it every day of your life. So such as a habit that it that in the practicing that and in the habit of doing that in the assembling of God's church, teaching classes. This is what I'm talking about Wednesday. Teaching classes, preaching, Bible reading, and leading, amen, and learning also what? To sing, to worship, to harmonize. This is what the body of Christ is supposed to do. Amen. And, and number three is uh, 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 attending services. And that's how we do the Lord's Supper. Amen. By attending the Lord's service, doing it together as the body of Christ. You know, uh, to grow mighty and devote the habit of participating and following in the activities of sharing with what is easy and progressing more and more and what? In serving. Amen. And that's how, remember, we're saved by grace and these gifts that God has given us, we're to give freely to everyone that we meet, but also we are to apply that. And I know if you heard it before, and I'm going to continue to remind you, you, as I remind myself, that's why I'm here tonight. Amen. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do the Tuesdays. I'm going to do the best of my ability to be persistent and, and, and faithful. And you know what? To do that in my faith, to share the word of God. And number one, remember, serving is on the Lord's plan for all of us amen and reading the scriptures and leading uh in prayer amen and also you know leading in the opening of a prayer and serving and and welcoming and visiting and making all these things announcements of what god is doing in the church to others and bringing others to the house of god you know Providing opportunities also to learn and to serve. Thereby, what happens? Growth is needed to be provided. Amen. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, 2 says, You have heard me teaching these things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to others trustworthy people who will be able to teach others amen and that's what we're doing here amen i want the lord and the mission that he's given me amen which is the same mission he's given to all of us mm. and god opens doors right now for us to 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 share and to grow and take every opportunity when people invite me somewhere i you know, unless I got something scheduled, man, uh, uh, before that hand, uh, you know, I want, but I try to make it, amen. I try to be a participant to help my brothers and sisters out there, amen. Remember 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10, it talks about seed, and that's how we do, we help each other, amen. Uh, he who supplies the seed to the sower and bread for food will supply the multitude your seed for sowing amen and increase what the harvest of what of righteousness of righteousness remember that jesus and the holy spirit that will cause us to grow amen with the power of the holy spirit we are called to become more like jesus amen and to become more holy it is the spiritual growth that becomes birthmark of what our faith the birthmark of our faith is that the truth Nat? you know and 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 also man i want to give you the word today uh second peter verse 318 english standard version says but grow in grace and the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be the glory, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. You know, I want to grow. And God wants 
and you know that's how the blessings come that's how you can receive every promise when you put God first and what does God tell us to do but to put him first in everything that we do and that's what I'm here tonight amen putting him first and sharing this gospel with you. And I'm going to continue to do that. And again, uh, I invite those to come out. Amen. Either be a part of this. You can be a part sitting here with me sharing your testimony. And also uh, on Friday nights. Amen. What better place to be in sharing on social media. And our broadcasting out of uh, all the things that God has opened doors for us. To share it around the world. Amen. And to show our faith by our faithfulness. Amen. You will be known by the fruits that you bear. Simply. How we live our lives. And how we how we are faithful to the house of God. And that's being basically faithful to one another. Amen. And growing in, together in truth and in integrity. <coughs> that God has called us to do. So I want to encourage you my sister and brother. Don't forsake the assembling of ourselves. I find that to be, you know, uh, I don't find it difficult, but I find it to be that some people just, it's difficult for them. But remember, it's not, we're to do what God has called us all to do. Amen. So again, I want to encourage you and remind you as I remind myself, that's why I'm here. And the more consistent you are, the more you do this, the more God will bless you, the more those promises and those prayers that you've been sent out, yes, I can tell you, yes, he'll answer. You know, maybe you don't get it right away, but you just keep believing and trusting and doing what the word says simply. Amen. You know, I want to say it again, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18, out of the English Standard Version. But grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and, and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and both now and today, for eternity. Amen. And also in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to complete at the day of Jesus Christ. And today is that day also. Amen. Every day. Amen. As we acknowledge and, and share that name, Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. To everyone. And, and let them know that we're here. Amen. And let them know that you're there. Amen. Empowering each other. Amen. And, and to all you out there, man, we send our love to you. We, we open our doors to you. And those pastors out there in West Palm and wherever you're at, we're here. Amen. Around the world sharing the love news and the breaking... Uh, love news and also in spirit and in truth as we're doing tonight and we want you to be a part of it and moving at the round table tomorrow we trying to reach out to you so you know what don't stay stagnant man start moving start doing what god has called us all to do be a part of something grow together you we could accomplish a lot in unity and we grow together in wisdom and in the knowledge of christ and doing that amen Hallelujah. It says in uh, Colossians chapter 1 verse 10 out of the English Standard Version Bible. So as, as to walking in what? The manner worthy of the Lord uh, fully uh, pleases to him. Bearing fruit in every good works and increasing what? In the knowledge of God. Increasing our knowledge of God. Amen. Amen and amen. You know, uh, remember that we are the temple of God. Meaning that we are Christians. Children of God. Royal priesthood. A chosen generation of believers. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who are joined together in one family. Amen. You're my family. Amen. And, and this is what I say all the time. Let us work together here because we're going to be together for eternity. So let us work. And, and as, you know, I want God to answer your prayers. I want God to bless you and your family. Amen. And we're to lead our families in the ways of the Lord. Amen. And that's the truth. Amen. Right, Natasha? 
we've let our family and we're just being a witness and a testimony of what God has done to us. Amen. So again, I want to say, remember that we are the temple of God, meaning that we are, we, that we Christians, believers in Jesus Christ of Nazareth are joined together in one family as the church are a holy dwelling place of what? Of God's what? Presence. Amen. You know, the Greek word transform, uh, uh, translated as you in verse 16 and in 17. It said that Paul said that you are what? The temple of God. And he is referring to what? To the believer as a group of what? A local church. And the temple in Jer Jerusalem, remember, was built, uh, was, uh, was built, amen. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Remember that, that that was God's thing. Amen. And he said it, that the gates of Haiti shall not prevail over the church. And that's you and I. Amen. So remember, I want to say this again to you, man, that God loves you. We're here. We're opening the door. And uh, we're just waiting on those that are out there and that are here and I uh, would like to be a part of something that we can grow together and be a family. Amen. That's what the house of God is called to be. But in order to understand that, you got to come out. Amen. You got to come out and learn and know the word and show yourself approved. Amen. To God. Prove it to God. Amen. It's about your relationship with God. Remember, God is a personal God and he wants to have that personal relationship with you and be able to trust you. Amen. And and have faith in you as he has faith in, in all of us when we do his will that's building our faith you know towards him i'm very simple and that's the way i see it and i want to encourage you you know god has opened up so many doors for me and my family and i'm grateful for my daughters and my son and all, all my whole family and everyone that comes here that we are the body of christ and uh our family is growing and i pray and i ask you know, lead them to the Lord. Amen. And what God has taught me and the wisdom I'm have, I'm going to share with them because how to see, how do they see the Lord today and how do they get encouraged today is by you and I, my sister and brother out there. We got to encourage and remind people that is our mission. That is the great commission simply. Amen. And, and when we do that, man, who's going to reap the benefits? You are and your family and those around you. And we're to be our brothers keepers amen are sharing the word of god and as i always say how do they see the love of god how do they see the word manifested how do they see jesus it's through you my sister and brother out there and me this is why it's so important and remember see yourself the way god sees you you a child of god man you're a raw priest of the chosen generation he knew you even when you was in your mother's womb the bible says man and he wants to pour out so much to you. And I want to be a part of that. I want to pour if I'm doing right now and sharing with you. And I'm looking forward of those that are joining with us to move forward, man. And let us grow root. Let us bear a lot of fruit that many will come. But it takes a group. It takes a village, like they say, right? Working together. He never made us to be separated. Forgive one another, man. And, and, and we're not in competition with anyone. You know, that's what the devil wants to bring, oh, snaggle to bring, oh, this church, oh, come to my church, or this church. No, we all brothers and sisters, man. We all one body. Let us learn to work in unity together. Let us not strive for or even say things negative, man, about somebody else. Let us encourage and build up. Then the world will know that we are the true believers and followers and disciples of Christ. Amen. By our actions and how we live our lives. You know, I, I'm, you know, I'm just one person here, but, you know, together and the persons here are this family, love we, 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 we're here to share the truth. Amen. And that's the way it should be. And our doors are open to all of you. My wife's going to put the address again. I invite you to come out. Amen. On Sunday. Amen. We have big flags now that says Love Wings Ministry. They'll be every Sunday. You'll see them outside in front of the, the driveway here at our location so you can find us very easily we're right next to the chrysler dealership we're right in the q smart plaza amen you're driving it but now we have the flags out there that says love wings ministry come and join us amen see 
see what the Lord is doing. Amen. And join what the Lord is doing. Don't be an outsider. Be a participant in the kingdom of God. Amen. And again, whatever's happened, man, yesterday is yesterday. Today's a new day. And just ask the Lord to come into your life and ask Him to renew your mind, your spirit, and most of all, your heart and your relationship with Him. And I pray that right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you accepted the Lord as your Lord and Savior and forgave and continue to walk in that path, join. Man, together we can accomplish a lot. Amen. You can take the address down there. We will accomplish a lot, but it takes us to work together. So again, as I was saying, how do we grow spiritually? Growth is through each other. How do we see the manifestation and the power of God is through each other? Amen. Healing, deliverance, all these things. That's what you call spiritual growth. Remember, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 says, And let us consider how to stir up one another to love. Amen. And good works. I want to say that again. And let us consider how to stir up one an another to love and good works. Amen. That's what we have to do. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 11. English Standard Version says, Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence. Amen. Continuously. Amen. And remember that Psalms 119 verse 105 says, And the, your word is a lamp to my feet and let a light to my path. Amen. So we're opening the path and the doors here the wings. Amen. For all of you. We love you guys, man. We want to encourage you. I want to give a shout out to so many of you. Iris out in Connecticut. Uh, 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 Brianne out in where she moved to. Illinois, Brand in Illinois. I can't wait for one day to see her. Amen. And uh, Iris, amen. Rivera, amen. Out in Connecticut. I love my sister. Amen. Out there sharing the full gospel tabernacle. Carmen Ebanks, Carmen Ayala, Pastor Carlos Hamilton, Maggie Hamilton, and all my family, Love Wings family. Amen. And the full gospel family together here, all of us sharing. The love of God and family growing and sending out others, building each other up. Amen. Assembling together and building our brothers and sisters and sending them out to all over the world. Amen. To share the love of God and become the family of God as God has ordained. Amen. So again, I just thank you for this opportunity tonight. Amen. Again, we're here. If we can help in anything, you could also contact us simply at our email which is love wings ministries with r i e s at gmail.com love wings ministry at gmail.com again and we here amen and we love you guys and i pray blessings and before i get off the air i just want to say father i thank you for touching lucy amen father bringing her out of the house kelly amen i pray for uh 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 my uh, my wife's aunt, um, Amalia. Amalia, amen, that in Panama, that is facing a critical time in her life, amen. We're praying for healing right now, Lord. You said in your word when we gather together in Acts and also uh, Titi in my, Miami, Titi Sessi, we pray for Titi Sessi, amen, that you touch her body and her family. All of us and all of those that are out there that might be in the hospital or sick in body, we pray right now we bind cancer in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bind arthritis in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bind Alzheimer's in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we bind the, the enemy right now in the name of Jesus Christ that they will try to infiltrate my brothers. Father, I pray, Father, right now that as I'm speaking, that you're stirring their spirit and tuning their ears, Father. Let us forgive. Let us come together. Let us walk in harmony and in unity. I pray for every ministry. I pray for uh, 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 a one-a-call ministry out in Fort Lauderdale, Pastor Tito. 
Rodriguez, I pray for him. Father, I pray that you continue to bless him and Maria and all of the family out there. Amen. And Fort Lauderdale. Amen. And every ministry that I've met out here. Amen. Uh, uh, that I've met in pastors that you have called, Lord. That you have called. I pray for them, Lord. That you bless them, Lord. I pray for Barry. Amen. Uh, uh, from Taken TV that's out right now uh, ministering out in... Uh, Miami, give them a, a safe journey, and Orlando, I think, a West Palm, one of those places, he's down there. But I pray mercy to him and his wife and, and uh, whoever's working with him. I pray blessings on taking TV, amen, right now that we're a part of, amen, to continue to spread the gospel, to continue to spread the news, amen, of how much you love us and you want us to come together in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. And no weapon formed against anybody that's out there shall prosper. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. You know every need. Even right now, Father, as I'm praying, Lord, I'm believing that you're touching them right now. Wherever they at, my God. Whatever they might be going through. Whatever is our fi their finances, Lord. Whatever it might be, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus right now, Father, that you're opening up the doors, my God. That, Father, you're opening up every door, my God. You know their need, Lord. And I'm asking you to bless them, Father, Lord, as we continue to intercede for them. And I say that all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And I hope that you come out and join us Sunday. Amen. And those that I have invited for women at the round table tomorrow, please let me know if you're coming. Amen. My wife will be here and Deaconess Nina from Love Wings Ministries. Amen. We'll be here and there's chairs here for you. Come and share your testimony. If anybody that's out there, you can reach me also. I'm standing my hand out again. And those that whatever was going on, man, pastors, let's reach out to one another. Amen. Those that have been called by God that are pastoring right now and have a church, call me. Amen. Let us join together. Let us pray to, for one another. Let us come into that unity. Amen. And let us be an example to those that, sheep that God has given us. Amen. And let us learn to work together. Amen. Not against each other. Amen. And help one another. Let us forgive one another. Amen. And I say that sincerely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So again, here from Pastor Benny and all of us here, we love you. Amen. Me and my wife that's on the camera. Amen. And we want the blessings to continue to flow in your life and your family. And we're here. We're here waiting on you. So for Pastor Benny and Pastor Natasha that's on the camera right now here from Love Wings Ministry Studios here in spirit and in truth. Let's say it together in that. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you. Love you.